I'd like to show you three completely unrelated items. First, an oil can. Next, Sophia Loren, beautiful motion picture star of the screen. And, next, a $10,000 check. Now, these three items play an important part in telling the story of a fantastic chance for a gas station attendant to become a movie star. You'll see it happen tonight on People Are Funny. People are funny. Ooh, people are funny. Brought to you by new even waving Tony. With the first double easy applicator. And new white rain, the first and only crystal clear liquid shampoo. And sorry, Art. Four weeks ago tonight, ladies and gentlemen, a young service station man named Roger Dollarhide was selected to be on our program right here in Hollywood. He'd spent two fruitless years trying to get his first break. So we decided to give this young man an opportunity. So we offered him a United Artist movie contract guaranteeing him $10,000 in cash if he could pass a few little tests. Now here, was his first movie test with a beautiful leading lady. Well, Roger failed uh, slightly in that test, so I could only give him a quarter of the movie contract, and I decided to send him for further instructions to the famous star, Mr. John Wayne. Now, when we telephoned Mr. Wayne, he wasn't home. He'd gone to Tokyo, Japan. And so, undaunted, we sent Roger Dollarhead all the way across the Pacific to Tokyo, and there, three weeks ago, he undertook instructions for Mr. John Wayne. I love you. No, Roger, I'm afraid you're not quite ready. We discovered he still wasn't quite ready for movies, so John Wayne only gave him another quarter of this $10,000 contract and sent him for further instruction on around the world. Hong Kong, Singapore, Beirut, Athens, Rome, to London, all the way to London, England, and there he met the beautiful movie star, Miss Sophia Loren, and there she was his teacher. Well, as a beginner, I know I have a lot to learn. Oh, yes, I can give you only the 25% of the contract. Yeah. Is that all right? Now, apparently, he was just good enough to win another quarter of the contract there. So, Sophia sent him to Africa. And there, he was to meet Rosanna Brazzi, who played the part of the commander in the picture with John Wayne and Sophia Loren, the exciting picture, The Legend of the Lost. And what a Lulu of a movie this is. It's full of action and interest. So let's see if young Roger Dollarhide got the last part of the contract guaranteeing him $10,000. Of course, you are not John Wayne, but uh, here is the rest of your contract. A zoot. I forgot. Rosanna Brazzi has the contract. He will give it to you with uh, $10,000 that go with it. But where's Mr. Brazzi? Where are all the actors when they are through with the picture? In Hollywood, of course. Goodbye. Well, the poor boy still has only three-fourths of his contract. And so, no $10,000. You want to know where he is now? He's back in Hollywood, and I want you to meet this young man who went from his service station around the world, Roger Dollarhide. Hello, Roger. Well, you look like a typical tourist loaded down with the mementos of your trip around the world and still wearing the fez that we gave you when you left. Well, now, this is a present for you. This isn't my memento. This is from KLM Dutch Airlines. And when I left Tokyo, you know, in order to give me a good send-off, they gave me this doll and said, bring it back to you and turn it over to you. I've always wanted to have a little Japanese doll. <laughs> I had something a little larger in mind, but this will do. Well, that's beautiful and represents their delightful and delicate work. Now, uh, would you take this, please? <clears throat> Hold it for a moment for me. Roger, 
You've been all over the world trying to get that United Artists movie contract and the $10,000 that goes with it. I see you have it kind of glued together. There's still a piece of it missing there. How do you feel generally from your trip? You had a good time? Well, it was a great trip. It was very tiring, I can tell you. you it, you'd never been anywhere before, and well, suddenly we took you. Yeah, it's, it's sort of hard, you know, jumping from place to place, and you get used to one place and you're to the next. I was very impressed, though, all the way around, especially by Japan. But you did have a, an exciting trip from Tokyo to London. You saw all these famous towns. Well, we, I was in Tokyo, then in Manila, and Bangkok, Rangoon, and Beirut. I was in uh, Karachi and then Rome, Amsterdam, London, and in and around London a great deal, and in and around Tokyo a great yes, deal, too. Uh -huh. Sophia Loren was very nice to you, wasn't she? Well, she was very nice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we didn't get everything on film. Roger, from Sophia Loren, of course, you went to Africa, and there you were to collect the last quarter of this contract, but you didn't do it. What happened? You, did, you were supposed to get it from Rosanna Brazzi. Well, he wasn't there. Oh, he wasn't there. Well, they said they sent me back here, as a matter of fact. They said that, that I'd have to come back to Hollywood. Oh, I see. Well, let me see this contract. We'll find out just exactly. This is a very rare document. There's a paragraph on the bottom of the last part that you can see here that's written in Arabic. And that's most unusual in a motion picture contract. But we uh, will try to find somebody in our studio audience who can read Arabic. Is there anyone here, ladies and gentlemen, who can read Arabic? Can I see your hand, please? Oh, there's a gentleman right over there. Would you... Why, it's Rosanna Brazzi, the Italian movie star. Would you come up, Mr. Brazzi? How do you do? Would you come in here and meet young Mr. Roger Dollarhide? How do you do? This is the man you went to Africa to see. You wasted the trip. You see, he was waiting here all the time. Did, did you pass uh, through Rome? Briefly. Oh, did you see my parents over there? Oh, I missed them, I'm afraid. You they, missed them? They wouldn't let me out of customs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think since Roger Dollarhide is a young man aspiring to be an actor, it would be rather inspiring to learn how you became a, an actor and a star. Oh, it's, uh, it's very strange because before to be an actor, I think I was a very, very serious person. I was a lawyer. Oh, studied law and was practicing law. That's right. You came to Hollywood a few years ago, made uh, three coins in a fountain. Then you were in the famous South Pacific um, musical, which was made in Hawaii. And then, of course, The Legend of the Lost with John Wayne and Sophia Loren. Exactly. Well, your career is going full steam. I doubt if you'll ever be a lawyer again. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Roger, you see how it's done? You're starting wrong. The first thing is to go back to school and be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, now... Mr. Brazzi, we have the problem <coughs> of getting this young man the last part of his contract. Now, would you uh, give him any advice on how he can get his $10,000? posso dire in italiano, io mi manca l'altro pezzo del del contratto e non so come fare. Did you get that? <laughs> I don't understand Italian. You don't understand Italian? Well, no wonder your career has been going nowhere. An actor must speak several languages, and particularly the romantic languages. Mr. Brazzi, could you teach him a little practical Italian in a few moments? Oh, it's very easy, you know, when you speak Italian, move your hands, you know. <laughs> Everybody understands you. And, uh, and oh, uh, I mean, you know, if you go back to Rome, if you go back to Italy, I really think that you need uh, to say, ti amo. Ti amo. Ti amo. Ti amo. Is that a practical? A, a, a little lower. Ti amo. Ti amo. Very good. Is that practical? Is that oh, a practical? It means I love you. <laughs> Say it now. Ti amo. Good. Uh, he picks it up very fast. Now, would you say that he's ready to start on his last part of his contract? Yeah, I think he is. Well, then uh, shall we give him this last quarter here? No. You don't have it. See, I, I don't have it, you know, but... Uh, uh, I think, you know, that we can find out from here. It's Let an me Arabic. see. No, no. Uh, oh, he has to go back. He has to go to the pyramid, he says here. The pyramids? The pyramids, yes. Roger. Yes, he has to go Off there. to Egypt. I'm sorry, but... Uh, How is... <laughs> from Africa, you came all the way here, and now he says you're going... Are you sure you have that right, Rosanna? I don't know. It's written here. You know, it's very, very difficult for me to... No, no, wait a moment. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. Oh. I'm always wrong. <laughs> now, let me see. No, no, here. Here is written something uh, Arabic, you see? Arabic? Arabic. 
is uh, Ilex. Ilex? That, that means uh, holy. Here is uh, Hashab, Bud means. And here is uh, Karem, and it means vine. Sure you have it, look. <laughs> this is the pyramid, Hollywood, and vine. <laughs> Pyramid what? Sure, the, 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 the mortgage company. The pyramid, the pyramid mortgage. mortgage company. I think it's here on the corner, no? Oh, you don't go to Egypt. You go no, to the just... pyramid mortgage. It's up the street, two that's blocks. Right. And, and he gets his contract. And that's where he gets his contract. Rosanna Brazzi, thank you for this help. Please. <laughs> you, you've taught him how to make love in Italian. Yeah. You've given him the instructions to Hollywood and Vine. Yeah. And an inspiration of your own career to, to spur him on. Good. Would you go with him in case they try to foreclose his mortgage when he gets up there? For sure. Come with All you, right. boy. All right. Back to get your contract okay. and come back before the end of the program. There he goes. If you knew that one product was twice as good as another, you'd buy that product, wouldn't you? Well, get yourself some new crystal clear white rain because it rinses twice as clean as any other leading shampoo, and here's why. It's new, pure, contains no artificial coloring, no thick, hard-to-rinse oils. No wonder it rinses twice as clean as any other leading shampoo. Leaves hair fresh, bright, lively as sea spray. Well, gals, it makes sense, doesn't it, to use the shampoo that rinses twice as clean as any other leading shampoo, and that's new, crystal clear, white rain. The difference is clear.